I'm Tim Kennedy, Special Forces Sniper, a Ranger, and a Green Beret. These are the unique weapons for the specialized agents in the Division II. I have seen firsthand the value of a well-placed sniper shot in combat. And its extreme effectiveness, especially when it's fired from a 50 cal, like this TAC-50. It fires a 50 BMG, and it was originally designed to shoot down enemy airplanes. This 100-year-old cartridge was traditionally used to be shot out of machine guns, but when shot out of the Macmillan TAC-50, precision sniper rifle, the lethality can reach out to over a mile. What makes this TAC-50 so accurate is this bank vault of an action. It locks everything into place, so the bullet leaves the barrel consistently every single time the trigger is pulled. Combine that with a state-of-the-art rifle optic that can handle the violent recoil, can take down a man, beast, or vehicle as far as the eye can see or further. A sniper's rifle is his lifeline, but for the enemy, it can be the end of the line. With modern ammunition, it can penetrate fortifications, it can hit targets at extreme distances, and it will cut through steel like butter. In the Division II, it is this capability that sets this weapon apart. Just as in real life, it can slice through armored enemies and put them down hard. When you want the ultimate in a long-range precision punch, this is the weapon of choice. This is the M32A1 grenade launcher, a favorite for special operation units all around the world. You can't always bring an artillery, a mortar system onto the battlefield, but you can always bring the M32A1. It can fire six high explosive rounds in less than three seconds. There are few problems that six 40 millimeter grenades can't solve. These are used for bunker busting and taking out a large group of enemy combatants even if they're behind cover. Or destroying the cover entirely. To load the weapon, just rotate it, give the cylinders a full spin, and you're ready to get back to work. It's essentially a revolver on steroids and plutonium. An experienced operator can shoot 21 high explosive rounds in one minute. That is 2,100 square feet of absolute, complete devastation. This weapon can shoot a variety of ammunition, from rubber pellets to high explosives. It's accurate 800 meters away. If you want to be an instrument of destruction in the dark zone or in PvP, this is your weapon of choice. In the end game, in the Division 2, if you choose the survivalist, the weapon of choice is the crossbow. With history dating back to the 6th century BC, the crossbow is truly the first precision killing machine. For those looking for stealth, the crossbow is an ancient weapon that is still formidable today. Modern day crossbows are as accurate as rifles at targets over 100 meters and can even penetrate steel. Pop quiz, what's this? If you said it's an arrow, you're wrong. It's called a bolt, and modern day crossbows can shoot it at over 450 feet per second or 300 miles an hour. In the Division II, there's even something that would make John Rambo smile. Explosive bolts. While you can't pick these up in your local sporting goods store, in the Division II, these bolts can clear a path with precision and power. You don't have to be hunting zombies to like crossbows. While I wouldn't be carrying one of these combats, it is absolutely a powerful tool in the right hands. If you like the 511 gear that you use in Division 2, head to 511tactical.com or to your local 511 store to get all of that gear and so much more.